find myself in a different season. I find myself in a season of just God's blessing. Yeah. And uh, it's been pretty unbelievable what He's been doing. And I know it's him because it's it's not my experience. It's, I don't have experience in the industry. Like I've, I've got a few years, but it's been God. It's been His favor. And uh, but that all core, that whole, all of this blessing that He's been pouring out is all correlated with relationship with not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a He. Yeah. He is a person. And he wants a relationship. Yeah. He yes. wants, like Chris Bring said, it, like Chris said earlier. Um, hi, I'm Harry. By the way, Chris, <laughs> Chris said earlier um, oh, he wants to be pursued. And yes. Holy Spirit, you know, showed up right here. Holy Spirit broke my heart uh, probably about four months ago here in our own church service, and I had to go and talk to my pastor for my own church. That Holy Spirit. He was grieved because he he feels like us in the West in our in our culture treat him like a concept or something to be learned, yeah. not a person to commune with, to have a relationship with. Holy Spirit is just as much authority, he's just as much a part of the Godhead as Jesus, as the Father. They're all one God. They're all one in the same three in one God. So, he is as Chris said, the advocate on earth that will be with us always. He says, I will be with you till the end of the world or the end of the age. He is with us. And, and my prayer tonight is, as we're speaking and as we're sharing our heart, that you will feel the anointing that we, we're in here and, and his spirit is so thick uh, where we are right now uh, that... My prayer is that as, as you listen to us share, that Holy Spirit will touch your heart in the same way that he's touching ours. And again, I can't emphasize it enough. He, not it, not the, he, Holy Spirit, <coughs> wants you. Yeah. He wants you. He wants you to pursue him, but he pursues you as well. Right. He is going after you. Scripture is really clear. It says that unless I draw, they, they, they don't come. It, it is God who draws. It is Holy Spirit who draws you to Him. So if you're feeling an, a, a pull in your spirit, that's Him saying, come. That's, you know, He wants you. You know, there's nothing that you've done that, that can't be, that God will, that, that, there's nothing. He wants you. He wants all of you. So, so wherever you are right now, wherever you find yourself, I beg you. I, I mean, I beg you. I implore you. Ask God. Say, show yourself to me. Because He promised. He, he said, "A contrite spirit, I will not turn away. A broken spirit, I, I will not turn away." I'm sorry, I, I, <laughs> I'm not a preacher. I'm, I'm a person that has been set on fire by the Holy Spirit. I'm just a person like you. I'm just a person like you. Right? I'm not a pastor. You know, I'm not a pastor. I'm not some big organized guy. I'm just a follower of Jesus Christ. That that's who I am. Yet he has promised me that I would lay hands on the sick and they would recover. He has promised me that I would speak his word and his word would heal people. So if you find yourself in a place right now where you're just, like we shared earlier, blah or depressed, that is from the pit of hell. Yeah. It is demonic. It is, it is a spirit. Doctors may have told you medications and everything else. It is a spirit. And in Jesus' name, I just it says where three are gathered, in my name, I am there in their midst. And right now, I also want to come in agreement. There, there's people that have been sitting there listening going, I'm so depressed, and I'm so lost. And you're a leader in your church, or you're a leader in ministry, and you're going, God, what? where are you? What is going on? You know what I'm telling you right now? And I want you to look at me right now. I'm telling you right now that in the name of Jesus Christ, you are not going to be. You are set free by the blood of the Lamb. You are set free. 
You are whole in the spirit and in the power of God. So I just, uh, you know what? I speak with the authority that Jesus Christ has given me as a follower and as a spirit-filled believer in Christ. I speak into depression, and I, and I just say, in Jesus' name, it has to go. Amen. Cancers that have been caused by stress, that have been caused by depression, that have been caused by anxiety, I speak into those things right now in Jesus' name. You, that, that person that's got that throat issue going on that Chris spoke about, I speak into that now in Jesus' name, and I say it is gone. It has to leave. The lying spirit that is telling you that you are worthless, that you are worth nothing, that is a lie from the pit of hell meant to drag you down. And the Holy Spirit says, rise up in Jesus' name and be free. You are already free. It's not something coming down the road. You are free. Jesus already did the work. And I speak into that and I say, you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. And you know what? I want to release right now to that person that we were just speaking to, I want to release a spirit of joy that right now you're falling on your face and you're laughing and you're being overcome by the Holy Spirit. Don't be afraid of that. Embrace Him. Say, I want to be free. You are free in Jesus' name. And I just release the Spirit of God. I release joy into your life right now. I speak that now in Jesus' name. Oh, the Holy Spirit, He is so thick. And he is so tangible. He's not an intangible being or a concept. He is, he is alive. And he is with you. So Holy Spirit, I, just, I pray, Lord, that you would touch that person right now. That you would bring your peace. That you would bring your joy. Lord, that whatever's going on in their lives right now, Lord, that you would just show them that you are walking through it with them. Yes. That you will never leave them, you will never forsake them, that you'll be with them till the end of the age, that they will be with you for all eternity. And eternity starts right now, not when you die. It starts now. So you live in the fullness of God here on earth now. Yeah. And I just speak that truth over the over your lives. That person right now that just got a die, there's someone right now that just just like an hour ago got a terminal diagnosis. <coughs> and I just say in Jesus' name, peace. God's peace on your life. I speak the healing balm to fall, healing oil to just drench your body and your spirit. I come against the spirit of anxiety in Jesus' name, and I break the power of that in Jesus' name. Yeah, you have all authority in heaven and in earth. And Jesus himself said, you know, whatever you ask, I'll do it. You know, in that comma, if you love me, if you stay in the love of God, and the, the enemy, the first thing the enemy will always try to do is try to pull you away from the love of God. Because if he gets, that's what he tried to do to Adam, he tried to deceive them and make them think that they needed something more than what God already gave them. And they already had all things and try to fill them with this knowledge, but they already had life, which is love, because God is love, and God is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is life, and Jesus, God so loved the world that he gave, basically, his love, which is his son. His, <laughs> yeah. He gave Jesus so that we could have his life in us, and that life is love, and that life pushes out anything of darkness and you got to keep nurturing. It's like a seed of the kingdom of heaven coming within you. You have to water that relationship in your garden, in your heart, with by intimacy with God. When you spend time with God, that that like it's like your garden becomes flourishing, and it's like you can begin to have the scent of the flowers and of the birds. You know, start singing, and you know, it's like everything that your relationship with the Lord is your relationship with the Lord. And when you are in love with the Lord, His love comes through you, and perfect love casts out all fear, because fear has torment. And that torment is the thing that tries to 
it, uh, it comes from hell. And yeah, like, like we were talking about earlier, just he'll do whatever you ask when you love him in the spirit because God is spirit. And those that worship him, they must worship him in the Holy Spirit, in Holy Spirit and in truth, which is Christ Jesus. And I worship the Father in the, in the Son and in the Holy Ghost. Now, there's no other way. There's no other way. You can sing songs until you're blue in the face and break all your guitar strings. It's just me. And never, you never ever were in the spirit. You're not in the spirit until you're meeting with God spirit to spirit, heart to heart. You're pouring yourself out. You know what the first act of worship is in the Bible? Is Abraham taking his son. He said, we're going to go over the, up the hill and we're going to worship and then we'll come back. That was the first act of worship is sacrificing your most beloved thing. It's not singing songs. No. It's giving everything. It's your whole that you life. you find valuable. And you give that to God, and then God comes through that. Because through uh, Abraham's son came all the nations, and, you know, through his seed will be blessed, you know, all, all those blessings. But, oh no, that's really good. I feel a lot of Holy Ghost on that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people free, but I have a hand out like that. It was burning. Yeah. So God's releasing healing to a lot of people yeah. who need to hear this message. And it's just a simple message. We didn't make it up. It's the gospel. Yeah. It's the good news that he paid for everything. And those, to those who believe and receive, they have eternal life, oh. which is Jesus. This is, I'm going to be honest with you. This is kind of new for me. YouTubing and all this sort of stuff, but even as we're speaking now, I just feel like I need to kind of step forward here and I need to, there's someone right now that is, as we were speaking, their, their chest, there's just a heaviness, and it's, just, but it, and it's actual physical heaviness in their chest right now that they, you feel like you can't even breathe right now. And it's almost like you're, you're feeling like you want to just give up, you're, you're entire, you just want to give up, you want to it feels to me like somebody's wanting to commit suicide right now that is that heavy and I just want to speak against that in Jesus name and I just want to pray life to you so right now in Jesus name it's, a, it's an older gentleman it's an older gentleman that, that's, that, that's, that's going to see this and I, I, I just want to speak to you and just say that cry out to the Holy Spirit cry out to him and I know that it, as, you're, as you're crying out to him, you're going, are you even real? Holy Spirit wants to show you that he is real. He wants to take that, that it, it's almost like a big iron just on your chest. And it's like you want to end your life. And in Jesus' name, I'm going to speak end of, end, of, end of your life and beginning of new life in Christ. The Holy Spirit wants to fill, fill your spirit right now. But you have to say, in Jesus' name, so just repeat after me right now, sir. In Jesus', in Jesus name, I accept you into my heart. Take this weight off my chest. Take this anxiety. Take my fear. I give you my family. I give them to you right now. Touch, them, touch their lives and save me, God. And, and as you're doing that, sir, as you're repeating after me, he is filling you up right now, and he is just giving you new life. And your old self has just died. You just said you wanted to end your life. Your old self has just died. <laughs> and you have just been born again into new life. You have been born again into new life, into the life of Christ. And Holy Spirit, I ask you right now to fill this man, soul overflowing right now with your peace that he has not experienced in years. And give him life. In Jesus' name. And sir, I encourage you Find a church and talk to a pastor. Do it and do it fast. Talk to the Holy Ghost every day. He's your pastor. <laughs> he'll, lead, yeah. he'll lead you in all lead truth. You. He'll lead you to the right people. Yeah, he'll lead he can you disciple people. you. And uh, most of all, like he's he's your best friend. Yeah. You know, Jesus is the way, the truth, and you know <laughs> he'll never deceive you. Yeah. So you, you need the Holy Ghost to just fill you up. Just say, Holy Spirit, fill me up. Fill me up. Uh, there's, a, there's a scripture I wanted to, after, uh, 
might not understand what he was talking about by your old life is dead. Uh, it's Colossians chapter 3. It says, Since then you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds or affections on things above, not on earthly things, for you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, is, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sensual, immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming. Okay, you can try your hardest to stop doing these things, but if you go to Romans 8, it actually says, put to death the deeds of the flesh by the Holy Spirit, by the Spirit of God. You need the Holy Spirit or else you can't even do the will of God. Or That's else right. you're just going to be doing it after your own, yeah. in your own strength, like Saul of Tarsus, who was going around killing Christians, and Jesus had to stop him dead in his tracks mm -hmm. and blind him for three yeah. days so that the pride uh, in the scales would fall off his eyes mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. all he can see is like, wow, it's grace, I need Jesus, I need the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and uh, you'll walk in fullness of life. And... Uh, you know, we're, we're just beginning this walk in fullness of life. You know, our face hasn't transfigured like Moses yet, but that's it's... next week. Yeah, that's that's next week. So tune in next week. <laughs> yeah, we're here all next week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so... We're here every day on anything? Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> You're just drifting? Yeah, he's in the spirit. Yeah, yeah there's been a lot... Of, we've been a, There's been a lot of whack. You know, there's a lot... It seems like the less you do, the more he does. The more he does, <laughs> because you kind of like giving up all. It's not like you're being lazy. It's like you're just like, okay, God, I'm so. F do I have to sing, you know, ten fast songs and five slow songs before your presence comes? Yeah. Can you just come now and then we'll <laughs> sing and <laughs> we'll sing the songs after? You know, I want to feel your presence. David said, "My flesh." And my flesh cries out for the living God. My, my body. My, I want to feel the presence of God. It's okay for you to cry out for the living God. You know, taste and see that He's good. You can taste the Lord and you'll see in the spirit realm. You'll see in the kingdom of heaven how good He really is. Because you'll see from the reality of reality. You'll see from His perspective with the mind of Christ how good He is. And that everything else that is in darkness is just, it's, it's like phantoms that have been your rivals. And it's not truth. And you shall know the truth, which is Christ, who is the light. And he will set you free from all those phantoms that have tried to like distract you. And uh, so, yeah, set your affections and your mind on things above. And not on things on the earth, because the things on the earth can distract you. When you set your mind on things above and then you look at things on the earth, you have a heavenly perspective yeah. and you know how to bring change. And that's why we started this video for you guys because we just felt, it was just impressions we had when we were worshiping. And lo you know, and behold, you people are, you know, just leave, leave, leave your comments in the box, whatever, and we'll, you know, we'll continue, continue to pray for you. And, uh, man, I really feel the Holy Ghost right now. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Just, <laughs> you know what? Just, just lift your hands up yeah. and say, Thank you, Holy Spirit. I receive you. Yeah. God, you are my Lord and you are my Savior. Amen. You've delivered me and I love you. And uh, I just give you everything. And so I can receive everything that you have to give me. God says that you have all things in Christ. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All things are yours. Yeah, so yeah. man, just incredible. Rejoice. Mm -hmm. Whatever that it's means. It's incredible. Yeah. I mean, get happy. Just you know. <laughs> rejoice. 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 So incredible. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Leave your comments unless some of you guys got something else to say. We'll keep this video hey, a little bit short. You got anything? Okay. No, I'm just soaking. Oh, uh, she's just soaking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We have the we, these weird effects on because it's all really the dim, the lights are dimming here, so yeah. You know, praise the Lord. Hallelujah.